the Viscount Melbourne, yeah, uh, uh, she, uh, she struck the, uh, the Laconia Reef uh, in uh, 1842, early hours of the morning, it was four o'clock in the morning. They had gone through three days of violent storms and then were becalmed after the storm and drifted onto this uh, dangerous reef and were wrecked there. Everybody got off safe. Uh, 71 people were on board. They headed for the, uh, in five lifeboats, they headed to the Borneo coast, but were attacked by pirates, so they veered off and headed straight for Singapore. Most people survived. Uh, and an account of the voyage of the survivors uh, was written by, by the young apprentice uh, navigator, Harry Thompson. And that's the one we came across. And in that account were the Latin long of each day of the voyage of the survivors. And so we were able to, uh, you know, close the dots all the way back and it pointed to that one reef and sure enough it was there. Like I said, it took 25 minutes to find her. Um, when we went down to have a look, we, we found her with a magnetometer. When we went down to have a look, you couldn't see a ship as such. All you could see was corals coral reef, looked like a coral reef. And, uh, but after a bit of looking around, we saw a lead pipe sticking out. And now lead pipe, that's something out of the 19th and 18th century. You know? It's not a modern way of doing plumbing. Um, so we started to think, and then we rummaged around among the corals and found some bottles. So that was it, we knew, we found her.